video is a lot more serious than the ones I used to do. It's a big day for results today for me. It could be the biggest day of results I've ever had. Do I sit and worry about it all day? That's not going to help. Being anxious, that's not going to help. What can I do? There's nothing I can do to change the results. The results are already in. I've just got to wait until I go and see my doctor to talk about the results. There's no point in worrying. So there's only one thing left to do. Good. That's right, you. I hope you are feeling good. You and you and you and you and you and you 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 and you. That's right. I hope you're feeling fantastic because life is truly beautiful and amazing. And I hope you right there are having a good time in life. I hope everything is working out for you with your job, work, school, whatever it is you do. I hope everything is just working fine and dandy, and you are feeling fantastic and smiling 99.9% .9 of the time, 100% of the time. I hope you're feeling great all the time. And if you're not, you've got to hang in there because you just never know what's around the next corner. I don't know what result I'm going to get today, but it's a, it's a big, big day for results. So let me go to the hospital and get a blood test. <laughs> right, time to go inside and get a blood test. Now, to make it very, very simple, because it's very complicated, I'm going to get a blood test today, right? I'm going to get, like, four tubes of blood taken, and three of those tubes will be sent off to a lab, and that that's like a special test. That blood will be tested, and I'll get that result back in my next appointment, which will be six weeks from now. The other tube of blood will be tested today. I will get that result back later on today, and that's to measure my blood levels, just to see if the tablets are too strong. That's about it. So I'm gonna go inside, get that done, I'll come back outside, and I think I'll explain to you more about my results later on. Right, I'm back, I've got a little scratch. Look at me, arm. look at that little, little scratch covered with the plaster, but it's totally fine. So why is this such an important result? Well, I'm gonna try and break this down so simple because my simple mind doesn't even really get it. This cancer in my blood, right, is tested in percentage. It's That's how they mark it, right? When I was first diagnosed, it was 57%. Now, what the doctors want is it to be at a certain percentage by a certain time. So you have little time frames to get that result down to a certain percentage. So to cut a long story short, it needs to be at 0.1% by 18 months. And we're pretty, this is 18 months from when I first started this medication. But my last result six weeks ago was 0.187, which is ridiculously close to 0.1. It's, these numbers are tiny, very, very tiny. So today, Later, when I go see the doctor, if my results are 0.1, I will be over the moon. Everything is good, life is good, and things are looking great for the future. If it's worse than 0.1, that could be an issue with the tablets or it's getting worse, but it's probably likely not a good sign. It means that we'll probably have to go into another tablet. I remember last time my doctor said if we're not at 0.1, because we are on 0.187, which is very, very close, as long as it's gone down a little bit, we should be good to stay on these tablets. So that's, so that's the result I'm waiting for. I'm messing my eyes, what are you doing? Leave me alone. <laughs> Don't recall me doing this. I might buy a new hat today. Yeah, so, I would, yeah. I? Then you've got a few. Okie okay. So yeah, as you can see, we're going to, we're going somewhere in the car. We're going shopping in Lancaster. No point in sitting at home worrying about the results. So we're gonna go shop until we draw. We are in Lancaster looking for a shop for me to buy some clothes. I need t-shirts, shorts, and a new hat. Well first we're looking in the toy shop for outdoor games. We want a swimming pool really, but we just want something fun, something to play with. What could we get? I thought I was gonna squeak, I thought it was a dog. It's Calm not down. I thought it was a dog chew that squeaked. <laughs> Turns out it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> we never bought any toys, so now we're just gonna look for a clothes shop and also we're probably gonna get something to eat. I'm trying not to think about my results, I'm trying not to think about them. Now I actually hate shopping, but I've got loads and loads of cheap t-shirts here. I just don't like looking around, it takes too long and it's boring. I've got me a big old bag of shopping and Joe is trying on tops for the winter. That's clearly for the winter, but it looks good, it suits you. Have a little spin, have a little spin. That it suits you, you look cool, doesn't it? It's too hot for that top though. Buy that for the winter. Joe, should we get some of these wax strips for a challenge? We could both grow our leg hair and do a wax, a wax off challenge. How about that, a wax off challenge? 
Back in the car, about to tuck into this nice vegan burger, and we're gonna head to the hospital now. I'm try some. Joe's got a wrap somewhere down there. Big old. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I got me a big bag of clothes. I mean, look at all this. Look, look at all my clothes. I got loads. There's everything in there. New hat as well. I got, I got loads of stuff. It only cost sixty quid. Primark. <laughs> Primark is a cheap art money. Primark. Brilliant. So the next plan for me is I actually have work today at three o'clock. My appointment is quarter past two. So the next time I see you, I'll be in the car, about to go into the hospital at quarter past two. Well, no, probably two o'clock. I'll go early, get there early. Right, the time has come to go inside and get my results. Joe's come with me because I'm dropping him off at the gym afterwards. I'm I'm also, I wanted to come. Oh yeah, <laughs> she wants to come <laughs> with me. Um, and I'm going to work afterwards, so if I get bad results, <laughs> I've still got to go to work, and that's <laughs> typical. If I get good results though, you will see some excitement from me very soon. And we don't see that often. <laughs> yeah, you do. I'm boring you, am I? <laughs> so let's just go in and, let's go in and see. We're in the room now, waiting for the doctor to come in. <laughs> Back in the house like a mouse. So I got my results today and my results have slightly gone up. Not quite what I planned, if I'm honest with you. Gone up, had a good talk to the doctor and he's saying we've got a couple of options. But we ain't doing anything just yet. We're not moving medications just yet because we're going to try one more result. I've got a blood test taken. To, I've had a blood test taken today. That result should be back within six weeks' time. So hopefully, if the results have got have gone back down, I will stay on that medication and and see what happens. If the results have gone up again, then we have to move medication. And then yeah, that's it really. There's not a lot to say about it, but it has gone up. And there are some options left, so we're, we're all right. We're still going. We're still we're still strong. We're still getting fitter, and we're still staying alive. So I really wanted 0.1 percent. I would have been over the moon with that, but I didn't get that. You know what? Whatever the results, whatever hot weather. That's what I say. The results will be what they will be. I refuse to let anything break my spirit. So got to keep having fun, got to keep uploading vlogs, got to keep entertaining you, and got to keep positive. And you need to stay true, have fun, and be merry. Take control of your life, have as much fun as you want. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be merry, I tell you, be merry.